What is up, you geezer, bloke, tight geezers? It is Chris Marder 9 here. 2 0 against Bournemouth. Four wins, 100% record still intact. I'm happy. Very happy indeed. Despite the fact that game started off very slow. Very, very similar to Newcastle last week, where we played all this possession game. Passing was great. Possession was great. Kovacic, especially, played an absolute blinder of a game again. He, he is, I'm becoming to be a real fan of Kovacic right now. He is exceptional. But the passing, the possession, great. We're just struggling to open up defences. I think, like, like, like Newcastle last week, first half, very, very frustrating to watch. Now, a lot of people will say that Sari Ball, or this possession game that uh, Maurizio Sari is trying to inject into this team, is going to take some time. And yes, you're right. This this type of football is going to take some time. We need to give Sari a bit more time with the team. Uh, I mean, four, four wins in a row. I mean, if, if if there's better to come after this, then I am excited. But uh, like I said, I don't want to judge how slow we were today. Uh, we did get the goals. We got. Uh, we had to wait until maybe the 60 to 70 minute mark to see Pedro uh, score to make it 1-0. And then uh, Hazard uh, making it 2-0. So decent result all round. There were some players that, again... Are up for debate. I know some. Uh, let's just talk about Morata for a moment. Now, a lot of people will be saying he didn't get very much service, and there'll be other people that say he didn't do enough. <sighs> I don't know what you can say about. But you just start debating in the comment section about Morata because I'm I'm not so sure about him right now. All I'll say is, all I'll let you in on is the fact Jiru when he came on for Morata, it only took him. About 30 seconds, or about maybe a minute. And he already won two headers. And he linked up well with Eden Hazard. When Murata came on, I don't think he did enough. I don't know if that's because maybe he didn't get enough service, or whether he just simply just wasn't in it. I don't know. I mean, we got, we've got we loaned out Batshuayi to Valencia. We've just literally loaned out Abraham to Aston Villa. You can't just not play just on and off. You you have to prove to us Chelsea fans that you're willing to do what's necessary to be part of that team. Because if you're not, then you shouldn't even be on the pitch in the beginning of the game. You should, like Giroud should even be starting the game. I don't know, but you decide in the comments section below what you think about Morata, because I'm not sure. Aside of all that, I think the result was great. Four wins in a row, 100% record still intact. Uh, well, Liverpool won again this week, so of course they, they're they also celebrating a 100% record as well. But I mean, it's very early in the season. So, I mean, people are still predicting Sorry Ball to be perfect by mid-October. I know that Eunice has been saying that in his videos, saying Sorry Ball is going to be absolutely perfect by October. I'm going to be, I'm going to hold him to that. <laughs> but I mean, if we're playing like this and Sorry Ball isn't even set up yet, then... We're in for a treat, Chelsea fans. We're in for a treat. Yes, it started off very slow. Yes, it what well, it did. You know, I was thinking to myself at half time, I was thinking, you know, we're gonna be playing against Jose Mourinho every bloody week. Now, this is prime Jose Mourinho, not the the kind of Jose Mourinho at United right now, where, you know, you're losing against Tottenham Hotspur 3-0. <laughs> Uh, not that type of Mourinho, but the Mourinho that was in his prime knew what he was doing and playing defensively. That kind of Mourinho every week. That's what I was thinking at, at half time. You know, all this possession, all this ticky tack of football, all this possession, this passing, this brilliant passing, but just not hurting teams, not opening up tip defenses to get goals. I mean, if goals win you games. Not possession, not passing. Goals win you games. I, I am not mocking the passing or the the, the, the the possession. I am not mocking it in any way. It was absolutely beautiful. Just needed to penetrate. But we did. We did. We got a goal from Pedro. We got a goal from Eden Hazard. Maybe it was due to the fact that Bournemouth tied them, was getting a little bit tired by the end of the game. I think that's what was key. Was there were times where Bournemouth got key yellow cards 
and maybe that's what we kind of needed to do maybe maybe get the uh, Bournemouth players to get a little couple of yellow cards I do remember Jefferson Lerma got a yellow card in that game and he was kind of like pivotal in their defense like going off a little bit of a tangent like Bournemouth had about six or seven Bournemouth shirts in the penalty box whenever we attacked that's how difficult it was nonetheless we got the victory and that's what matters four wins we're in the international break as well now, I think. Um, next week, we've got a couple of England matches. Uh, so I'll see if I can try and get on some uh, some videos for that as well. Uh, see how England do there. Uh, it'll be the first time we get to see England play um, since the World Cup. So, you know, it's all good. Uh, I don't know who's next up for us. I think it could be West Ham. I think it's West Ham away next let me, let, me, let me find out. No, I'm wrong. It's Cardiff at home. So Cardiff is next after the international break. Then we have uh, an away game against Payok, whoever they are, the, the Greek team. And then we play West Ham away. So yeah, so we got Cardiff at home, then Payok, then West Ham. So yeah, so Cardiff is at home. Then we got a couple of away games after that. So should really beat Cardiff. Payok is going to be quite difficult, especially if we're away from home in Greece. Uh, and West Ham, well, they've they've been pretty un unlucky this season. Uh, they've they've literally played four games and they've lost all four of them. Um, so to say that's going to be an easy game, uh, well, I mean, if we can continue this passing game, if, but if we've got to we got to we've got to be more precise on the uh, the finishing. Yes, okay, we won against Bournemouth two 0 Yes, but. It's all about, you know, you know, you, you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, guys, 2-0. Uh, Good result today. A bit slow at the beginning, but we got the two goals. That's what matters. Sorry, Ball. Got to be patient with it. Stay patient with Sorry. He will get the he will get us rolling up and running. Like Yuna said, by October. So let's hope it continues. Let's hope this winning streak continues. All right, guys. We're looking good, guys. We're looking good. Right, guys. I will see you in the next video. Hey, door, and peace.